Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be going through all the shortcut keys that I use in Blender. Now, if I miss something, please leave a comment below. Please consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with any of my videos. Now, let's go check it out. Let's start off with the most basic, delete. We always delete that default cube. Shift A will be able to add a new mesh or curves or empties or lights or text. To search for anything, press F3 and then we can search for whatever we want. If our cursor's moved, we do Shift S and we can move it to the world origin or selection to cursor. Pressing the tab key, we can go between object mode and edit mode. Pressing N will bring up the side panel over here. Pressing T will bring up the side panel on the left. And now let's start working on our mesh. We can select anything we want. We can press G to move, R to rotate, S to scale. Now, if we want to reset all that, we can go Alt S to reset the scale, Alt R to reset the rotation, Alt G to reset the location. In any one of these, I can press G and move it anywhere. But if I press Shift Y, it'll eliminate the Y axis so I can no longer move along the Y. Shift X and I can no longer move along the X axis. This is the same as scale and rotation. We can also enable snapping. So if I press G to move, I can hold control and it'll move per increment. And we can change that up here if we want to snap to vertices, edges, faces, increments, and so on and so forth. To move around our view, we hold middle mouse button. And to zoom in and out, we use the mouse wheel. We can also hold shift and middle mouse button to move around. Tab will take us into edit mode. Keys one, two, and three will be vertices select, edge select, face select. And now I'll select a face and I can press E to extrude. I can do control R, set an edge loop. And if I use middle mouse button, I can scroll up for more cuts. To set the number of cuts, and I can do left click to place in position or right click to recenter it. For selecting, I can use left click or right click, whatever you've got selected. I can use C to use a circle tool, or I can press B and do box select. I can also have one vertice selected or a face or a number of them, and I can press control numpad plus to increase my selection size. I can also do control numpad minus to decrease my selection. I can also do Alt right click or left click, whatever you've got selected to select an edge loop. If I've got an edge loop selected, I can press V to rip the mesh. Alternately, I can use K for the knife tool and slice through the mesh and press enter when that's done. However, it does not go through. So I need to press K, press Z to cut through the whole mesh and enter. And now it's gone all the way through. To do an inset, I press I to do an inset. However, if I want to inset individually these four, I can press I again, and then I again to have individual faces. If I have a face deleted, I can alt right click around the edge and press F. Alternatively, I can select two edges by holding shift right click and then pressing F for fill. If there is ever faces facing the wrong way, I can press shift N to flip the normal. To create a bevel, we do control B and then we drag out and now we've got a bevel. If I move the middle mouse wheel up, I can create more cuts. We can also use proportional editing. So right click to set a vertice, press O to enable proportional editing, and then press G, and then we can move it around like this. Now to make the influence larger, scroll with the mouse wheel down and up. Now these two meshes are separated. I can select this mesh and press L, and it'll select everything that is linked. From here, I can separate these meshes by clicking P and separate by selection. And now we have two different objects. I can select both with shift right click or left click. Control J to join. And now they are one mesh again. I can hide this mesh by pressing H. I can select another mesh and do Shift H to hide everything else. Or I can use forward slash and hide everything else and zoom into my object. 